Geordie Retro Chasers, back in the house after a couple of weeks absent. What's happening internet? What's happening YouTube? In the words of a native Northeastner, how are all doing? Welcome back to Geordie Retro Chasers. We've been back out into, believe me, the wilds of the Northeast. So without further ado, as per usual, you know what the general rule of thumb is, without me shit cracking on, let's get into it, let's look at the footage, let's see what we found at the boot fair. Okay guys, here we are, back at another car boot fair, the sun is shining, it's a little bit brisk, but this one's indoors, so, there's just me on my own today, I know, I'm me lonesome, but let's get inside, and let's see if we can find some of this retro goodness, lovely. Here we are. We have arrived at Carboot Fair winter number one. It's vintage old school action man gear here. One thing I don't collect action man. With a lovely Power Rangers jigsaw puzzle here. Let's get the bad boy dated. And it's a one. Pretty sweet guys. Have you ever seen these before? They are interactive talking banks. Huge piece. Look pretty sweet on a shelf. But I've got absolutely nowhere to put it. Nice. Anyone hey, well, been playing the room here, guys? I've been bashing it out on Xbox Game Pass. Drop your comments below. Let me know what you think. If you've been playing the re-release. I think it's alright. Bit cosmetically weird, but pretty decent. These are different guys. Never seen these before. These by far, oh, they are by Fungal. It's two years. Two years. <laughs> yes, we will be taking this. Thank you. How much you have your chest? 30p. 30p. I'll take him for 30p. Yes, guys. We'll be taking this one too. It's a nice little nice group of there. You see the hat? I am Mrs. Nesbitt. Hook. Captain James Hook. Else. Possibly under there. Nah. Anyone remember these guys? Good old cabbage patch kids. I remember my cousin having two or three of them. This one's probably seen better days, but he is dated 1978. Old school. The Cabbage Patch Kids. Each doll is different and you can pretend to adopt them. My baby has a real diaper. You can love and care for them like your very own. Is there any value in these guys? Pretty much see 
them everywhere in my mouth. I've never, never, them up. I know the film. The film's a great movie. If you haven't seen it, go home and watch it. There's loads of PC and CD ROM games here that I'm not into. What a film that is, guys. Unbelievable, Jeff. Steel box edition or steel. What do they call these guys? Steel case edition? Back in the day, when's this date? 1999. What a set of cartoons that was. Big up yourself. Big up. My brother absolutely loved this one. In fact, I'm sure he almost started crying in the pictures at the end. Talk about old school. I stopped one of these when I was in junior school. Happy times, good times. These ones, guys. Don't think Mrs. GRC might have these ones. <laughs> what on earth is that? Anyone fancy a wind up Royal Race? See Robbins in Megalosaur. He's pretty intact. Doesn't seem to have any of his pieces missing. Hi, my name's Jody Retro Chasers, and welcome to Jackass. Hi, I'm Johnny Knoxville. Welcome to Jackass. Say hello to my little friend. Remember this, guys? What a fucked up game this was. But you had intentionally get sent off. Crackers. You want to turn them too Yes, please, darling. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. No thanks very much. How much are DVDs? Yeah, what a film that is, guys. Unbelievable. Take him for a pound, mate. Alright, guys, can we just take a minute to appreciate that I've just actually paid a pound for the Simpson Road Rage on the Game Boy Advance? Can you hit me up in the comments below and let me know if these are fake? 
is there like something that I've got to look for? I think it was underneath, like the stamp or something. Hit me up and let me know what the crack is. We'll have a look at Chase HQ when we get back. Woohoo! Pretty vintage that, guys. Original old school bad boy. Shame it wasn't a PS1 game. I'll have a peep this, Bob. Did anyone watch the reboot of this with, was it Jim? I can't remember the guy's name who presented it. Did anyone watch the reboot of Blockbusters? It was alright. Ooh, speaking of reboots, big shout out Games Master coming out tomorrow. Lovely. Really? I don't see any stunt of launch in it. That's a grin like the old school 88. Guys, you ever seen this before? <laughs> Cuteness overload. Look at that, guys. A ladybird guide on how to shop on the internet. A little bit before the 80s and 90s guys, but let's take a minute to appreciate the area when the World Cup. Alright guys, that is us done. As you can see, it's pissing down. And you can probably judge by the way I'm wrapped up. It's bastard freezing. So let's go back to Chase HQ. Let's have a quick look at this though before we do. Ready? Let's quickly flip you. What a beauty she is. The old Cadillac. All right, guys. Let's head back to the warm. Let's thaw. Let's see what we've got. Cheers. Yeah, guys. Found somewhere in the warm to edit my video. All right, guys. Welcome back to Chase HQ. Um, I have now thawed out, finished my pint. And it's now time to have a look at the last couple of weeks' pickups. Hi guys, for the first time I think in my hunting career, don't know what that was, um, I actually visited a car boot fair on my own this time. Yeah, Mrs. GRC completely abandoned me. No, she didn't. She just went along to the market with her mum. But let's have a look at what we've picked up from the boot fairs right now. Hi guys, what's in the box? The box, what was in the box? As per usual, we're going to kick off with the little knick-knacky things. So let's have a look what was actually in that box. And they were two sweet little Nintendo guides. I bought these off the internet. I think they're about two quid each. One is the complete guide to Mario pocket size. I, you know, I only buy because I absolutely adore the artwork. And then secondly, the next one was the Tricky Tipsters Game Guide to Tons of Mario's Secrets Revealed. Again, I've literally bought it for the artwork, you know. Do I, have I been playing back through these um, when they were released back on the Switch? Absolute. But yeah, have no idea where I'm going to put these, how I'm going to display them. But to kick off this week's pickups, two nice little Mario books. Lovely. The next pickup is something that I'm intending to flip. If you can help me out because it isn't dated, so it might not be retro. But let's have a look at it. You'll have seen it in the footage. Tell me if I can flip this or have I wasted me time. It was a Power Rangers Mystic Force Jigsaw. When we were at the boot fair, I absolutely studied this as much as I could to try and find a date on it, which I couldn't. Can you help me out in the comments below? Is this vintage? Is it retro? Oh, I literally wasted a pound. Not to worry if I have. Not a bad pickup for a quid. Cheeky little Power Rangers jigsaw. Lovely. And since Junior GRC wasn't with us, I couldn't go at the boot fair and not buy her anything. If you've got kids, you'll know what I mean. So here's what I picked up for Junior GRC. Two sweet little plushies. 
One is actually a Super Mario Build-A-Bear and the second one, which we'll have seen in the footage, is a 1997. Now it says walk and talk Big Bird. So does he make noises? Does, can you put batteries in him? We haven't had a proper look yet. Two sound little plushies. Yeah, he's going to need a wash, but he is pretty old. You know, he's, he's a 30-year-old. And a lovely Mario Build-A-Bear, all in the name of Junior GRC. Lovely. All right, guys, let's have a look at some of the VHSs that we picked up. If you're a subscriber to this channel, you know on umpteen occasions I've said I'm not getting into collecting VHSs. So I picked up two from the boot fair. And to be honest with you, when it comes to VHSs, I'm pretty selective. But these two were 100% coming home with the GRC. The first one being the Rugrats Angelica uh, the Divine. Now, it has a Marks and Spencers mark on it. Was there something that was possibly a UK exclusive? Did you know? Did you have to collect something at Marks's to receive this VHS? Let me know in the comments below. And then the second one we picked up is the Wild Thornberries, a Thornberry Christmas. My little girl um, has been getting bang into the Rugrats. In fact, the Rugrats Go Wild is one of her favourite movies, which does feature, obviously, uh, Nigel Thornberry. And me and Mrs GRC have been saying for ages, we're going to try and find you the Thornberries movie. And finally, I found a one today on VHS for 30p. Lovely jubbly. All right, guys, let's get into the disc-based format bits and bobs that we've grabbed this week. So I've split the disc-based format into three piles. Three are the common games, which are probably I'm going to flip and maybe not keep. The second pile is a big pile of DVDs that are going in my collection. And the third pile includes some of the pickups of the week. But let's kick us off with these three. So we picked up three to flip um, on eBay. And the first one being Liberty City Stories. If you haven't played this, go play it. It is excellent. A little bit better than the uh, GTA remakes that everyone's been giving some rave reviews about. Little secret, I really like them. Then we grabbed Pirates of the Caribbean, the video game, the Lego. It actually came with a little guide as well. I've never seen these guides before. Have you ever, you know, don't get me wrong. Yes, I've seen video game guides. But I've never seen a one where it was actually sat with the game on the booth, at the booth fair, smashing. Then I picked up some DVD cartoons and movies for moi. And these are some belters. Let's have a quick look. First one is Michael Jackson, Moonwalker. Oh, then we have... Transformers, the cartoon, volume four. Then we have the extreme Ghostbusters, which are taken as the next series after the real Ghostbusters. We have season one of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. We then have the TMNT movie, the original one, 1980, whatever it was. Then we have the third one, which is uh, where the animation or certainly the puppets Go a little bit west because Jim Henson wasn't involved. Little factoid. Then we have some of the original cartoons. You know what? I'm a sucker for all this 90s shit. And then we have another Transformers Volume 1. So yeah, all these literally cost me a quid each. You know, they're pretty decent to put on the shelf. But I will actually watch most of these. So all these are going in GRC's collection. Happy days. All right, let's have a look at some of the actual retro games that we picked up. All right, this is where I need some subscriber advice. So we picked up three Game Boy Advance games. Don't worry, I'm not going to make you strain your eyes. We'll probably have a little close-up of them in a sec. The three that I picked up only cost me a pound each. Now, I do know there is a real issue with some copyright um, when it comes to the Game Boy Advance games. I read enough groups to know that um, a lot of these can be faked. So if you can help me in the comments spot a fake, even if these are fake, I paid a pound each for them. Who gives a shit? So let's have a little look at the three. The first one was the cat in the hat and dogs fashion. And then the collective of the bunch, the one that I'm really interested in because it is only a pound and if it holds its value like it does across the other formats, it'll be an absolute beaut. And of course it is. The Simpsons Road Rage. All right, guys, I want to give a big shout out to my good friend, Tony Cox. We've mentioned Tony on this channel before. So why am I shouting out Tony? What did he post through my front door? Let's have a look. A lovely pristine version of V-Rally Edition 99 on the N64. Do I already have this? Absolutely. Is my box in as nice condition as this? Absolutely not. So... Big shout out, Tony. I know I haven't paypal you for it yet, but you know where I live, so I'm not going to leave the country. Thank you very much, mate. He will sit lovely on my shelf. Probably a game I'll never play, but I already have this, but this will replace it because this is in pristine condition. 
big shout out Anthony Cox, aka Tony. Cheers, bro. All right, guys, time to give my last shout out and time to have a look of the pickups of the week. All right, what's becoming a little bit habitual on this channel um, is a shout out to my good friend, Kev Moon. Let's have a look what we got from Kev over the last couple of weeks. Kicking off with Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance on the old cube. Fatality. Then we grabbed Zombies U. Um, am I trying to get a full collection of Wii U? Probably not. If you watch Retro Ghetto, you'll know how expensive some of these titles are, or, or certainly becoming. So, yeah, he'll go nicely in the collection. And then we have the two pickups of the week. The first one is the new Super Mario Bros. Wii U, um, which features the bonus videos of Luigi. Now, Retro Ghetto, help me out here. I already have this. Do I really need to buy it just for these extra videos? Are there different variants or has Kev probably just seen me coming? <laughs> nah, to be honest with you, I told him to put them to one side. So, uh, first pickup of the week was the Super Mario Brothers Wii U. So, I started collecting for the GameCube. Um, and then I actually decided that I didn't want to collect for the GameCube anymore. It wasn't for me. It wasn't the console, you know, that I grew up on. So I sold or, or traded a lot of my GameCube stuff and then instantly regretted it. So what I've started to do is I've started to try and slowly build back up some of those cube games that I exchanged or that I traded or that I sold or that I swapped. And I finally got one that I've been looking for. Yes, I've got it on the re-release on the Switch, but we don't have the original on the GameCube. And of course, that mammoth title is Good Old Mario Sunshine. In fact, um, it's funny because my little one is now really starting to get into her gaming. She's playing a lot on the Switch. Yes, it's very basic. You know, she plays that Paw Patrol and stuff like that. But she's really, really keen on learning or getting into playing the Super Mario titles. She's probably not going to be as adequate as it is because um, it's 3D. But I just want to start collecting those titles. So then, you know, when she gets older and she, maybe she wants to explore, if she does, some of the older titles, we have the original Bad Boys, we can set the GameCube up, she can play on this, it'll go in my collection. Big shout out, Kev, thank you very much, ties up my pickup of the week. Lovely. All right, guys, we're done again. We are done here at GSHQ. Thank you very much for tuning in. Again, if you've made it this far, then, you know, hats off to you. Thanks again, you know, again, apologies about the little delay in making a few more videos. All right, guys, cheers for tuning in. As I've just said, from me, Junior GRC, and a happy birthday to Mrs. GRC. Thank you very much, guys. See you next week. Peace.